and we're back we're going to continue ask the dad i don't know how we got here but we're here we're talking about the new kid on the block x defiant and we're going to figure out what a tick rate server is and what engine they were using on ghost recon click a lick allow um some people want to know about the so the snowdrop engine why they why did they choose that engine i believe there's another one that ubisoft uses i can't remember what it is now um but there's another one they use i think on assassin's creed or whatnot and some other um games they've done ghost recon i can't remember right now but it is snowdrop engine but people want to know why did you choose that engine what's the uh benefit um can it be played on cloud platform like geforce now which is getting updates um, will there be camos for weapons? Is that going to be free or through challenges? Someone wants to know um, For the challenge card, I'm assuming something similar to like a battle pass um, What's the you know the plan to grind towards it and get different challenges and things like that Since it's free to play do you tend for the game profitable uh, to be profitable through micro transactions micros transactions for cosmetics and etc. I believe it will be I just feel like you got it. You got to pay for the work you're doing um, will there be dedicated servers in certain regions? Also, what the, what is the tick rate of the servers? After this, I have now have to Google tick rate of servers and and other things. Um, gonna be fully character customization and factions customizations too. Um, I think it'll be interesting. I think you can grab pieces. I think it. I honestly think they're gonna. It's gonna be like Apex Legends. You're gonna have a character. Character's gonna have a story be part of a faction that faction will have a story you'll do your battle pass you can change their hair you can change their jacket their guns and that's it i don't i don't think you'll be able to create an actual character will there be an overlining story for the world or should we not dig too deep i don't think it's going to go as deep as the the lore that we get from other games but i'm i'm expecting something like um bare minimum rainbow six but it should be where apex legend is and and fortnite which does a great job of getting voiceover works and storylines that that go with it will it support stretch for three resolution anti-cheat will that be in there i'm gonna have to use windows so someone's like can i use anti-cheat wine proton enable for linux users or will i have to use windows i i don't know why but i heard the window sound as soon as i read windows i feel your pain Will there be streamer mode at launch? Here's a, that's that's that should be just as big as anti cheat and stuff, especially now with streaming on multiple platforms, which sidebar I stream on Facebook, Twitch and YouTube. Um, you don't you play a game. You have no idea if you're going to get striked for playing the music in the game when the game ship. So again, they should is all there should be music that, hey, look, play it. Don't worry about it. We paid the bills. We're not going to hit you. No other company will or something on the lines of i don't know like how can i put it like uh maybe uh uh cyberpunk one of the, the things they did that was well was having a streamer mode in the option that you turned on and it hid the music that they could not protect i guess if that makes sense that would be cool and um new world actually had a pretty cool feature and that's i think a pc only game but new world actually had it where you logged into your twitch account and you knew your followers were actually playing and where they were in the map and vice versa. So you're able to connect it that way. So I don't know. Wanted to know if they had a custom server or could they make their own server join in tournaments or something like that. Fortnite lets you create your own worlds and invite content creators. Are you created then leave and let other people play your, your map or do stuff? It's not even always killing. Like I'm watching, I'm watching my son play or who can build something the fastest or climb something. It just, it, the creativity is ridiculous. And I know Battlefield uh, 2042 just released information on portals and portals lets you just make a sandbox like that. So you might not be the best shooter, but you're creative and you come up with game modes for, for the rest of the world. So that would be pretty cool. But again, I think their focus is on the arena time to kill thing. Any plan to access for us to access real time data? Useful for a person like myself who has built websites using api data add that to the list of things i need to google what that means what would be the size of the game i don't know but i'm just thinking this i don't know go look at whatever the average for those shooters are will we get a gun customization similar to call of duty 
2019. That's Modern Warfare. Or will it be like Escape from Turkov? Okay. Will it be a game mode that you can play as a boss of a faction? Like Joe. Oh, Joe was one of the cleaners. Um, I don't know. Again, people were asking questions about Sam Fisher as well. Will it be a story mode tied to it or strictly multiplayer? I hope it's just strictly multiplayer. I don't think it should be a story. I think when you're going through stuff, I think you you load the game and you'll get a brief story of something that's going on. But I don't think you should. Yeah, I don't I don't think you should go to a cutscene right after you get a kill or your team gets a win. Maybe maybe the first few missions to kind of get you ready for the universe. But it should be similar, in my opinion, to Fortnite or Apex, where there's a new update you load or a new season new battle pass and then you'll get a little cutscene that cutscene gives you everything you need to know about the, the major players in that season or all the the characters in general and then you might play the game do something like destiny does every now and then where you'll log in after a few days and just because you did a certain mission or a certain time period progressed in the season or the year whatever you want to call it that another small clip showed up to tell the story but it, i don't think you I don't think we'll be getting some crazy lore type thing. And here's the thing. I mean, I wouldn't be mad at it with the fact that the title is Cl Tom Clancy. And obviously for legal reasons, you know, you can go back and find that Tom Clancy is no longer living or the rights being sold and things of that nature. But just the name Tom Clancy, whether you read the books, the movies, play the game story is a part of it. So I wouldn't be surprised and I wouldn't take it negatively. If there was something like you got, you know, your 30th kill and when you got your 30th kill, you know there is a, a cutscene, so it's almost like a progression so instead of you doing missions to progress the story you would have to get kills or matches or certain things but i just don't know how you wouldn't ruin that when somebody would go through and get all those achievements and get all those uh story niblets so i don't know let's keep moving on um will the game have customizable field of view i hope it does majority shooter games do uh, this person sounds like they kill a lot of people in game. Um, will there be crouch spamming or drop shotting? That would be weird. A like Call of Duty game, the crouch spamming part. I don't know what any of that is. I hope I don't do any of that to anybody. Will the Black Tusks, as well as other factions, be making their way into the game? I believe so. The question is, what would their abilities be? And like I said, I think. The developmental part of this game at least how a lot of games are done it's like a little book report and that book report would be like x defiant or maybe another code name it's under and it tells you the whole idea of what the game is and they make another book report that's bigger and then eventually the management the producers get together and start getting a dev team to start the i guess the the story the who's going to do what like developing the game before they actually start literally making the game so I wouldn't be surprised if Black Tusk, just like I said, at the beginning of the countdown, you can see the artwork for various other games. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get that later. And they said Ubisoft's universe as well as Tom Clancy's. Also, side note, I know I'm going to have to chalk this up into multiple parts because I had no idea how many questions Ask a Dev is. It's now turned into Ask a Dad and I don't have the answers. I'm just reading this. And again, I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. Um, but yeah, I've got to break this down because I my kids are coming in in between sets of me asking questions and I don't write anything down. I'm literally just reading this off the discord and uh, I'm supposed to be making breakfast. But here I am. Ask a dad. Um, would there be more Call of Duty style of game leveling system that unlocks weapons, perks, range? Or would it be more like um, Rainbow Six? limited attachment weapons based on operation faction simple leveling system that allows more in rather than progression would cosmetics be more like call of duty possible play to win early or fast access competitive advantage received from progression and store or like rainbow six early cosmetic elite skins received from loot box systems or stores also would one shot headshots or one shot headshots be in the game or would they just speed up the time and kill that's amazing stuff all i know is they said they wanted a fast time to kill yeah so to jump back in here i think that again they want fast time to kill they want again when they say arena it doesn't mean they can't be battle royale because apex was battle royale and now they've moved over to 
arena and this summer they'll be working on ranked arena and their second year of esports and they're opening it to console so i think ub wants to be in that conversation of esports skilled player beginner player anything in between as far as the first two questions which are kind of layered the same in my opinion it's just how are they dangling the carrot in front of us every game has it first person shooters battle royale arena are no different regardless of what your skill set is what's the carrot they're dangling in front of you is it tournaments is it esports is it money is it um the ability to create content like hey look how do you become the top player using the cleaners or the outcast what's the strategy can you make um can you make content from that that's another element of it and as far as whether you do a battle pass if it's paid if it's not paid if it goes by experience can sweaty players literally just on the first day take off like you look at games like escape for turk off if i'm saying it correctly it's a it's a really good game well-made game but a lot of people um you know might not feel like they want to jump into that realm because the, there's a significant risk and reward to it and a skill level and there's also the situation where there's certain players that play all day all night or they're just good at it whatever the case is and they kind of have the up and up adv advantage of it um the last part are two other parts from a previous video there was a question the other because snowdrop is the engine they're using for this game the other engine that's normally used for i think ghost recon and some of their assassin's creed i believe is called the anvil so that's that i don't know why they didn't use that one that'd be a great question for a dev and there was another one about a tick rate server i actually looked it up a tick rate is the frequency in which a server updates the game state okay 64 times per second is a good number it's the average but if you are looking for a high frequency server which is normally used in esports, you're looking for 128 tick. So that's what people mean when they're asking about the tick server. And we just learned something. The more you know, you could have been anywhere in the world and you're here. We're gonna keep this shit moving. There'll be more videos with more questions. If you know the answers, go ahead and put in the comment. If you have more questions, you never know. There might be a community manager checking this out, a dev checking this out, or the conversation continues because right now you can't ask devs questions. So. This is the place to continue it. Until next time, click a lick allow. Bye.